Why do we go cold on our partners where once we loved them and were so interested in them and wanted to spend all our time around them? And then as time goes by, either us or them tend to spend a little too long on their phones, a little too distracted elsewhere by the TV, wanting to do things by themselves or with their friends. And there's just an overall distance between you guys. Now, the obvious reason would be that it's a natural human reaction and once that familiarity kicks in, you are then kind of, you know, that shiny new toy feeling goes and the dust settles, so you're not as excited anymore. So the same way that you were really excited about your new car or a new show that you started watching, it kind of fades over time, which is very normal and human. But in some cases, there's slightly more darker, sinister reasoning for this. And that's what we're going to look at today. If you haven't been to my page, welcome. I'm Hamasa. I look at mental and emotional well-being, personal development, as well as just day-to-day -day issues. Do subscribe to my page if you haven't already. Now, when we look at love and relationships, it's very easy for us to kind of judge it from an adult perspective and be logical about it and see it when it comes to other people because we're not emotionally involved. But what really happens when you're in love is that you actually go into this subconscious self where it's a lot more younger version of you. Because when we first experienced love, it was as children from our parents. And we we knew this unconditional love from, you know, your mom, your dad, or both. And that's what our version of love is. So that's why when we're with people and we fall in love, that inner child is now in control. That's why logic goes out of the way and you're thinking just with emotions. And that's why it's very easy for us to judge other people's situations very clearly because we're not emotionally involved. So it's not our inner child that's making the decisions of seeing the situation. It's whoever's in love, they are now judging and perceiving everything from a very naive, very vulnerable, very fragile, very childlike, emotional, self like a sense of subconscious self which is why sometimes we may not even pick up that we're feeling a type of way about situation and because it seems so mundane and so minor it's like you didn't greet me correctly and didn't show me enough attention when we said hi. Now, if you bring this up to your partner, they will look at you and think, oh my God, why are you nagging? It's so silly. But to your inner child, little things like that make a difference because you're looking at it from this child's perspective. So if you've made an effort and cooked someone dinner and they're not acknowledging the detail that went into it or not perceiving it or receiving it the way you'd want them to, that would hurt your inner child. And all these little things add up and nag at you, but you can't necessarily verbalize it because it, they seem so silly. And most times you, you feel like your partner will ridicule you or make you feel stupid. It's like, how is this even a problem? Even if you speak about this to your friends, they might look at you and think you're nitpicking. Which, what makes this little inner child do is like they know that something's wrong, but they can't contextualize what is wrong or communicate that because if they do they feel silly so then what happens is you bottling this up bottling this up and you know that something's making you feel unhappy and on edge around your partner it's, it might be just snidey comments or something but you cannot bring yourself to speak about it so in turn you start shutting down and going cold and cold because your inner child is withdrawing and it's just like going in on itself and your outer adult self then projects that into just going numb. So your emotions are numb and it's not about what you look like on the outside or you could be the toughest looking guy, you know, tattoos, six foot two, big beard, or you could be, you know, a big character, you know, like a boss bitch, whatever, whoever you are, it doesn't matter. 
because we all love from that very ultimately vulnerable being. We don't love as ourselves. We, this little person emerges and they start getting all emotional and sensitive and acutely aware of what your partner's doing. So that's the place that we love from, which is why there are so many sayings like, you know, love makes you do stupid stuff and love makes you do crazy things. And it's like, um, you know, your common sense goes out of the window and you fall in love. It's, it, all of those things come down to this other self that emerges when we're in love. And this other self is literally like a little vulnerable baby, child, emotional, needy, um, sensitive, and just wanting to be like understood and loved at all times without having to communicate. That's where the breakdown happens. So that's where you start going cold because you don't feel safe and secure. And it may not necessarily be, like I said, anything that your partner's doing openly, um, very overtly, you know, it's, it's just, it could be little snidey things or lack of attention, lack of affection, little things that over time have built up and you've noticed and it's making you feel uneasy. And speaking about it will just have repercussions, so therefore you'd rather avoid it. Now, the issue here is that you probably don't really say you feel safe in your relationship emotionally. You don't feel like you're understood or that you will get validated, so you're bottling it up. And in order to overcome this, and for us to feel like we're in a safe space, we need to overcome this fear and start communicating with our partners and creating this environment where it's very safe for us to come and discuss all our feelings, all the things that are bothering us without the repercussions of being ridiculed, humiliated, dismissed, and also for it to be later used as ammunition against us. And that all comes from having a good emotional connection and support and understanding. To be able to cope in such a situation and get to better emotional understanding, we need to make sure and pay attention that we're creating an environment of openness and forgiveness so that our partner can feel safe enough to discuss how they feel and that's reciprocated back to us. And even if you start growing cold or there's a distance that through open and honest communication and mutual respect, it's overcome, addressed and then put to bed. So that's one of the reasons or more darker side to when a relationship starts going cold. So we need to pay attention to the underlying issues or the snidey comments because as much as they may seem very mundane, silly and irrelevant to the adult self, when it comes to that inner child and that vulnerable being inside that the love is coming from, those little snidey comments could really tear you down and break you and make you go into this numb, confused state, which in turn shuts you out of your relationship or shuts your partner out from you. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Please do share it with someone that may need it. Um, please like and comment on this video, subscribe to my page, and I will see you guys here again soon. Thank you for watching. Mwah.